Welcome to First Recaps channel. Today I am going to explain drama, romance Spanish movie, My Fault released in 2023. Before we begin, we kindly ask that you like and comment on the video since this will allow us to expand our niche. Thank you. The movie opens with Noah and her mother, Rafaela, relocating to live with Rafaela's newly wealthy husband, William Leister. Noah, a teenager, is reluctantly uprooted from her established life to join her mother and stepfather. Rafaela is enthusiastic about starting a new chapter and wants to share her happiness with Noah. However, Noah is unimpressed by the opulent lifestyle, considering it artificial and disconnected from her authentic self. Upon arriving at the lavish mansion, Noah encounters Nicholas, William's son. Nicholas is a proud and somewhat arrogant individual who is not thrilled about Noah's presence. Nevertheless, Noah's rebellious nature captivates him right from the start. Noah and Nicholas are starkly different from each other, and their disparities become evident during their first family dinner together. Noah chooses to tease and make fun of her stepbrother, while Nicholas, who is not only a successful surfer but also studying to become a lawyer, is portrayed as the epitome of a perfect person, at least according to William and Rafaela's standards. Following dinner, Nicholas decides to leave to work on a legal case, and Noah expresses her desire to leave as well. In response, their parents request Nicholas to drop Noah off at their home. However, Nicholas is not the wholesome and virtuous character he appears to be in front of his father. Behind closed doors, he leads a thrilling lifestyle, attending lively parties, engaging in car races, and participating in boxing matches to alleviate his anxieties. When Noah mentioned his mother, Nicholas brought the car to a halt right in the middle of the road. Noah found herself stranded in an isolated location with a dead phone battery. Fortunately, a stranger came forward and kindly offered to give her a ride home. Surprisingly, this stranger happened to be familiar with Nick. Noah, seeing no other immediate options, agreed to accompany this person, named Mario, to the party that Nick was attending. Contrary to his usual responsibilities, Nick had decided to take a break from his work and indulge in some fun at the party. Many women at the event were eager to capture his attention, and he thoroughly enjoyed the attention and flirtation he received from them. Meanwhile, Noah, feeling frustrated with Nick's behavior, attempted to blackmail him by threatening to inform their parents about his deceitful actions. However, the situation quickly took an unexpected turn when Noah inadvertently consumed spiked drinks at the party, causing her to become intoxicated and vulnerable. Nick, despite their differences, stepped in to assist her and ensure her safety. He made sure she reached home without any harm. In light of this experience, they mutually agreed to keep their respective secrets from their parents, forming a pact of confidentiality between them. Noah decided to attend an illegal car race in which Nicholas, also known as Nick, was participating. Nick was initially distracted by Noah's presence but managed to win the first race. However, his joy was overshadowed when he witnessed Noah kissing another man, which deeply bothered him. It turned out that Noah's boyfriend, Dan, had cheated on her with her best friend, and she had received photographic evidence of their infidelity. In an attempt to seek revenge, Noah kissed a random man. Taking notice of Noah's erratic behavior, Nick intervened and proposed a plan to put an end to her emotional turmoil. He suggested that they take a staged kiss for a picture, with the condition that she would then return home. Noah agreed to the deal, finding solace in the arrangement. Both Noah and Nick were undeniably attracted to each other, and while they tried to justify their actions as being solely for the picture, they both knew deep down that their connection went far beyond that. Noah obtained the picture and sent it to Dan as a means of proving her worth and making him aware of her actions. Later, Noah found herself waiting in Nick's race car for Jenna, but unexpectedly, Ronnie, a recently released criminal, approached her and challenged her to a race. Noah tried her best to avoid the situation, but Ronnie persistently pushed her to compete. When he insulted her, Noah decided to teach him a lesson and reluctantly agreed to race against him. Due to her father's background as a car racer, Noah had grown up familiar with the sport. Despite her skills, she soon realized that Ronnie had tricked her. 
According to a pre-existing agreement between Ronnie and Nick, it was actually Nick who was supposed to participate in the final race. Since Nick had not adhered to the rules of the competition, Ronnie demanded that he hand over his car and the race money as punishment. A fight ensued when Ronnie insulted Noah, and in defense of her, Nick punched Ronnie in the face. Despite losing his beloved car and the race money, Nick continued to show care and concern for Noah, proving that his feelings for her were genuine. Nicholas observed that Noah had a strong aversion to violence and later discovered the underlying cause behind it. When Noah was a young girl, she witnessed domestic abuse within her family. Her father, a cruel and abusive man, inflicted harm upon Rafaela, Noah's mother figure. As the fights escalated, Rafaela would protect Noah by hiding her in a confined space like a cupboard. These experiences of confinement reminded Noah of her traumatic past. The situation reached a breaking point when Noah's father, one day, attempted to kill her with a knife. Although Noah survived the attack, she carried the emotional and physical scars inflicted by her father. He was subsequently imprisoned due to the incident, and Noah's testimony played a crucial role in building the case against him. Nicholas now understood why Noah rejected any form of violence. She could not bear the thought of being involved with someone who enjoyed violence and used it as a means to express frustration. Despite their decision to distance themselves from each other, upon learning about Noah's past, Nicholas comprehended the reasons for her anger. He resolved to protect Noah from harm at any cost. Noah began receiving anonymous threatening messages, and she strongly believed that Ronnie, who she had recently defeated in a challenge, was behind them. Though Noah initially ignored the messages, she kept them as evidence in case she needed to take action against the sender. With the release of Noah's father from prison, Nicholas took on the responsibility of safeguarding her. Rafaela, concerned that her ex-husband would seek revenge on Noah for testifying against him, expressed her worries. Despite knowing that society would not approve of their relationship, Nicholas and Noah were deeply in love. Nicholas could not control his feelings for Noah, but being in a romantic relationship with his stepsister was not a viable option. Before parting ways, Noah and Nicholas decided to spend one final night together, celebrating their love. The following morning, they went to a convenience store to purchase protection. While Nicholas entered the store, Noah waited in the car. Suddenly, Ronnie emerged and forcibly pulled Noah out of the vehicle, abducting her. By the time Nicholas exited the store, Noah had vanished. Upon reviewing the store's CCTV footage, Nicholas confirmed that Ronnie and his accomplices were responsible for Noah's kidnapping. Upon awakening from her sedation, Noah came to the shocking realization that her own father was the mastermind behind the entire operation. It all began when he met Ronnie while incarcerated, and together they devised a sinister plan to seek revenge against his own daughter. In a twisted act, he demanded a hefty sum of one million units of currency from William and Rafaela in exchange for Noah's safe return. William and Rafaela anxiously waited at the designated location as instructed during a phone call, expecting Noah's father to show up. However, he never arrived, leaving them puzzled and uncertain. Rafaela, astutely perceiving Noah's father's true motives, understood that he didn't actually care about the money. Instead, he orchestrated this elaborate scheme solely to inflict suffering upon both her and Noah, presumably due to their tumultuous past. Unbeknownst to William and Rafaela, Noah's father had set up a network of tracking devices around the location. He was well aware that Nicholas, accompanied by the police, was en route to apprehend him. Meanwhile, Nicholas made a startling discovery, the insurance company had covertly implanted a tracking device in the vehicle he was obligated to hand over to Ronnie after losing the race. Utilizing the tracking device provided by his insurance company, Nicholas embarked on a quest to locate them. Noah's father and Noah hastily departed from the garage in a striking red car. Unwilling to leave any room for escape, her father coerced her into engaging in a perilous high-speed chase, all while holding her at gunpoint. As the pursuit escalated, with the police closing in on them, Nicholas, who had a detective accompanying him in the passenger seat, was closing in on their location. Finally, Noah and her father found themselves trapped at the end of a dock within a bustling marina. 
Their desperate situation had reached a climax as the authorities closed in and their fate hung in the balance. Nick drives his car to the far end of the pier, positioning himself on the opposite side. As their eyes meet, a silent understanding passes between them and they instinctively know what needs to be done. In an unusual setting, while watching a movie, Noah imparts a seemingly impossible maneuver to Nick. He explains that by pulling the brake and turning the wheel 20 degrees to the right, followed by a sharp turn of 60 degrees to the left, they can successfully execute this intricate move. Without hesitation, they drive straight towards each other, flawlessly executing the maneuver, spinning past one another. Both Noah and Nick instinctively lower their heads, narrowly avoiding a potentially dangerous situation. Suddenly, the tense atmosphere is shattered as a detective fires her gun. Tragically, the bullet hits Noah's father, leaving both Noah and Nick physically unharmed but emotionally shaken. The scene shifts, and under the cover of darkness, Nick stealthily enters Noah's room. Having recently experienced a harrowing nightmare, they find solace in each other's presence and are relieved that they have managed to overcome the ordeal together. Despite having previously agreed to separate, the incident has stirred deep emotions within Nick, and he confesses his love for Noah. As a result, the two of them reconcile and rekindle their relationship. Aware of the potential backlash and prejudice they would face from society, they decide to keep their love a secret, seeking refuge in the clandestine nature of their connection.